Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. In today's video, I'm going to be revisiting the Manda Audio's Empty Power Drum Kit 2. I have three part series on this Empty Power Drum Kit VSDI drum instrument. If you want to know more about it, you can watch those two videos. I put a link in the description. But today, I'm going to show you how we're going to use it in Cakewalk by BandLab. A very quick recap. You basically visit the website powerdrumkit.com and then click the download free option and it'll download and you can select where you like to download it most likely in your download folder and then you extract the zip file and the two files you need are these two emptypowerdrumkit.dll and the content Dot pdk and you put them in your local disk program files vst plugins where your normally vst plugins go as well once you've done that the vstr instrument is ready to be used in your daw in this case cakewalk by bandlab i now have cakewalk open with a new project let's add empty power drum kit 2 in our explorer section we have normally the media and then we have plugins. These are our audio effects. These are MIDI effects. The next one is our virtual instruments. I have categorized my empty power drum kit under drums. If you don't find it there, it most likely be under uncategorized. And you can always right click and then select the right category for it. So it's in the right place. This is one way of doing it. The other way is, of course, is opening up the virtual synth module you can go into views and the synth rack view here we have the synth rack again from here we can click insert synth insert synth device there's empty power drum kit because i just recently used it or under drums it's there as well it opens up a dialog this is quite an important dialog because it will allow us to set up the VST instrument. I usually like ask this every time enabled. If you don't see it, then that's fine. I'll show you how to actually open it up in the future. I'm just going to select simple instrument track and enable MIDI output as well and click OK. Now this adds the empty power drum kit in my synth track and also we can see empty power drum kit right here. If you install it for the first time, you might actually get a welcome screen asking for a donation. The reason I don't see that screen because I have already made the donation and I don't get to see the welcome screen in hope that I'll be able to support the developers of Empty Power Drum Kit. I hope you do the same as well. But in any case, if you don't want to make a donation, that's fine. It would still work. We just click OK and the welcome screen will go away within seconds. Now going back to that setup screen, we can get that by clicking here. And I'll show you why that's important later on. So now that we have our power drum kit, it automatically adds a track as well. This is a virtual instrument track. So the output, the audio output of this VST instrument will come into this track. Let's close that. So this track here, we can also see it in our console, right there, the first track, Power Drum Kit. So now we can put onto this track our Pro Channel and process it even further. It's going to minimize the console, minimize that to make more space. To bring back the virtual instrument screen, we can just click there. And now we've got it. So let's see. Just using the mouse click. And there we go. You can open up the mixer. And let's get some grooves. As I mentioned, if you haven't watched my previous video, you can certainly go and watch it. And that will show you how it's all used. Just going to select that and play it.
Now this of course is quite straightforward because all of the audio from the complete kit is coming out as stereo audio into this track. What I want to show you is how to get all the different parts of the drum kit into separate tracks, not just stereo. So we can process it even further, like processing the, the kick drum separately to the snare drum and so on. So to enable multiple output, we need to create the VST plugin with multiple output option. Let's close that, delete this one, and let's add it. Oh, this time let's do the other way example. I'm just going to drag Power Drum Kit into here. And in this dialog, instead of selecting Simple Instrument Track, I want to select All Synth Audio Outputs as Stereo. And let's click OK. Now we have Empty Power Drum Kit added again, but this time we have eight stereo outputs, which correspond to the mixer's outputs. Like in my previous video example where I demonstrate the outputs in Traction T5. So kick, let's leave it on out one. I'm going to select snare, out two. Hi-hats could be out three. So now we have multiple outputs. Let's just go into our grooves again. Just select something. Okay, so if we close it and open up our console, we can actually see how all the multiple outputs are now assigned. So this could be the kick. That's a snare. Ride and the crash all separate as well. And now we can apply different Effects and Configuration. For our drum kit. How do we assign MIDI? Now, on these tracks we cannot add MIDI. These are audio output tracks from the Empty Power Drum Kit. What we need to do is create a new add a MIDI track. And this is our MIDI track. And it's going to be going to Empty Power Drum Kit. Now from here we can pretty much Let's say intro, right there, and close hi-hats, I'm just going to grab one from there, put it there, and just a fill, you get the idea. Now, I don't need that one, now I can close Empty the power drum kit. Now I have the MIDI notes from those clips will be going into Empty Power Drum Kit and the output of the Empty Power Drum Kit will go into tracks 1 to 8 in multi-track. Let's go back to the beginning and let's just play it. And there we go. That's how you can do it in Cakewalk using the empty power drum kit. Well, I hope this was useful. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and ideas on Cakewalk by BandLab, the free DAW, and the free empty power drum kit too. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.